Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Saturday. It's day 119. Day 119. And, uh, you know, um, my, my brother Jason had um, his, his grandkids over the other day. These would be my great nephews and great nieces. So that'd make me a great uncle. A pretty awesome uncle, a great uncle, super cool uncle, and all that other stuff. Anyways, you know, I was watching them play, and um, it just it, it got me to thinking about a few things I wanted to share with you quick. You know, the <clears throat> kids kids run around, and they really don't worry about much. You know, they don't. The reality is that in Scripture, it says you have to have ch- a childlike faith in what's forthcoming and when you ask for things in prayer. And I was watching these kids, you know, they don't they don't worry about dinner. They don't worry about breakfast or lunch, you know, what's tomorrow and stuff or what they're going to wear. They just know subconsciously they, they they have faith that, you know, they're being taken care of. That when they're hungry, they're going to be fed. When they're cold, they're going to be clothed. When it's time to go to bed, they're going to be tucked in. So they never worry about that stuff. And it's really interesting. You know, worry doesn't do anything for you. It doesn't add another single second to your life. But faith is what triggers, you know, confidence, favors, and blessings. You heard me talk about that in the past. And one of the things that worry does, it just takes away from all the blessings and the favor that are waiting for you, you know, and that 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 you've earned, that you deserve. Um, quite often we worry about things that are out of our control. And some of you might be thinking, like I used to all the time, it's like, oh, I, I don't worry about anything that's out of my control because I'm, I'm in control of stuff. But I had to be brutally honest with myself a while back and come to the realization that I'm in control of the, the only thing I'm in control of right now is the, the, the decision that's right here in front of my face. I can turn right or left, do right or wrong, say yes or no. It's called free will, right? Um, I don't have any control over you. I don't have, you know, I have about as much control over you watching the rest of this video as I do, you know, um, deciding when the sun's going to set or rise every day, you know, every night. Um, I can't worry about what you think about me. That's something else I've talked about, right? The reality is, is that what you think of me is none of my business. I'm hopeful that you feel like I show respect and I'm somebody who might be reliable and maybe informative at times and that would be there for you if you needed help. Um, but on the other hand, if you don't think those things of me, if you even think the polar opposite, and there, I'm sure there are people out there that do, um, and you know what? I, I, I don't want that to happen, but I can't control what you think about anything or do about anything. So why is it any of my business? The only thing that's my business is to make those decisions that are right here in front of me so I have good character, I'm reliable, I'm trustworthy, I'm a follow-through person, I get stuff done, I'm there for friends and family. Those are the things that will allow me to control what's in front of me so down the road, if somebody does form an opinion about me, I've done my part. And that's what faith is all about, what I wanted to end this thing on is you have to do your part to not worry about controlling everything and what other people are doing and what other people are thinking about you. If you're a chatterbox and you like to spread the word, I call them the Julie McCoys. You remember Julie McCoy from the love boat back in the 80s? I'm dating myself. She just blah, 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 blah. She she couldn't wait to find something to talk about and just get on the phone and call everybody and tell everybody on the ship. Don't be that person. Don't, Don't be a gossiper. Just do what's right here in front of you. Take care of what you can take care of yourself. Your higher power authority will take care of the rest. And what you have to do is show faith. And faith is just saying, I'm going to use my imagination, right? And see what I'm hoping and praying for and what I'm doing in front of me and making right decisions will come to fruition. And that will unlock favor and blessings. Don't waste another moment of your day worrying about anything. Just do what you can do for yourself. Ask for what you would like in prayer. Let what God can do for you that you couldn't do for yourself take place and quit trying to control things and people. And most of all, quit worrying about other people thinking uh, what they think about you and keeping up with the Joneses. Just take care of yourself. Have a great day. Be brave. Be strong. Go get what's yours.